Good day grade 7, in this video I'm going to show you how to translate verbal phrases to mathematical phrases and vice versa. So in here we have a table that can be useful in this lesson. So this is the word phrases and the symbol that represent each of these. So plus some um, total added to, increased by, more than, exceeded by, simply means addition. Minus, less than, subtract, so on and so forth. Simply means subtraction. So you can post a video so that you can take a good look of this table. Because we're going to use this one as our guide in answering this. Problem 3.1.1. If that makes sense to you. So let's try to read this. Translate each verbal phrases let's try to cover the part that we don't need yeah. so translate each verbal phrases into matrical phrase use the variable x to represent the unknown number so in here there is uh, clear guidelines that we are going to use variable x only for the unknown number how to answer this first number number one we have three more than twice a number so three more than twice a so more than simply means addition and we need to add three and twice a number so we have no problem in representing three because it's just a number so i'm just gonna write three and more than means addition plus unknown number so unknown number said here that the unknown number must be represented in a variable x so 3 plus x answer for number one is 3 plus x and since this is addition we can use or we can interchange them let's put x on the leading term x first x plus 3 so either way that can be the answer next number two or the product of 5 less than a number. Product of 5. Product means multiplication. So we need to multiply. Here product. Multiply 5 to 3 less than a number. So in representing 5, we have no problem. Just write 5. But how about in 3 less than a number? So 5 product product of 3 less than a number so 5 times less than a number how to represent less than a number Not 3 less than a number so we have here less than it means subtraction but the question is what we are going to put first the 3 or the number or x so what we are going to do to represent 3 less than a number should we go for 3 minus x or x minus 3 this is subtraction now so we will get a different answer if we interchange them so unlike on the first number it doesn't matter because 3 plus x or 3 plus any number is equal to any number plus 3 it doesn't matter whether we put 3 or the x first but here we have less than and we need to know what number should be put first. So the answer here is here, x minus 3. Why? Because the 3 comes first and a number comes second, of course. But in normal circumstances, for example, 3 minus a number, it means 3 minus a number, 3 minus x. But if we see less than or subtracted from, we need to <coughs> reverse the numbers. So, dito, kung, na, kung sinabi na una si 3, less than a number, kailangan si 3 yung nasa huli. Kasi we need to do reverse here. 
inverse kapag less than and subtracted from para di kayo malito so 5 times sabi dito 3 less than a number so 3 less than a number is x minus 3 so tandaan kapag nakakita ng less than subtracted from deducted from babalik ta rin kung sino yung nasa huli ay yung sulat dito nahuli si number i-reverse -re natin siya yung ilalagay na sa unahan so x kaya, eh, kaya nauna si x next number number 3 we have a number deducted from again deducted from kapag nakita ng deducted from subtracted from less than reverse so, so kung nauna si number at nahuli si 8 si 8 muna unahin natin 8 minus x next twice a number subtracted from again subtracted from twice a number so 2x subtracted from the square of the same number square of the same number it means x squared square of the same number same number kung yung number dito ay x sabi dito same number kaya x rin to but since sabi x squared of the number kaya x squared minus twice a number 2x as you can see twice a number is stated first in this verbal verbal representation and the square of a number comes later but since we saw subtracted form from we need to reverse that so let's put the square of a number or x squared first before the 2x that actually comes first next 2 times the sum of the square of a number and 4 divided by 4 times a number so 2 times the sum so 2 times the sum meaning 2 times the sum of the square of a number and 4 the square of a number is x squared n4 plus 4 divided by 4 times the number 4 times the number so 4 times the unknown number or 4 times x for x so that's it for number 5 medyo tricky lang siya dahil sa less than subtracted from deducted from pero pag nakikita ng ganun reverse lang natin okay next how about if we do it vice versa? How about if you give if the problem give us mathematical and we need to translate that into verbal phrases? Here we number one we have two a b two times the quantity of a plus b plus one. So here ang tip ko lang dito ay basahin niya kung paano ba to binabasa talaga. So, kumbasa ko dito, 2 times the sum of a and b plus 1. Ganun lang. Hindi isusulat ko. So, 2 for number 1. 2 times the sum of a and b plus 1 so that's it now i already translate that into verbal phrase basahin lang is that next x plus 1 half x so as you can see i already read that so what's left is to write that x plus 1 half of x or of the same number so as you can see we can write this not only or there are no exact there is no unique translation of this we can translate that into countless ways in verbal phrase 
but as long as we get what this equation really means I will consider that as correct so in this much problem we ask to at least write at least two word phrases so I, I already write one phrase for number one and two and the rest is yours so this is the lesson in verbal phrases and mathematical phrases translating them verbal to mathematical and vice versa so that's all i hope you understand this video lesson and i hope you can now answer your assignment that's all thank you